time for Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. When it comes to news on 95.1 FM, weather always comes first. As the heavy snow will slowly subside across the southern Rockies and southern plains, energy from that system is forecast to develop a storm system in the Gulf of Mexico and then track northward along the east coast over the weekend. Heavy rain, a few thunderstorms, and increasing winds are in the forecast. Meanwhile, strong northeast winds will affect Hawaii alongside dangerous high surf. Closer to home, sunny skies through the weekend with clouds returning on Monday. We'll have another look at the weather following this news. A special meeting was called by the Board of County Commissioners yesterday with only one item on the agenda. I'll make a motion for approval of the discussion here to the public and consider approval of whether the Alcohol and Gaming Division should approve or disapprove the proposed issuance of liquor license to Tularosa Basin Grape Farms, LLC, 23 Coyote Road, Tularosa, New Mexico. County Commissioner Vicki Marquardt added in her opinion. I'm in favor. I mean, they've been there for a while, and I was looking at all the pictures online, and it looks like they got a good opportunity. Obviously a shared opinion as the vote was a unanimous 3 to 0. Fires are on the uptick in the area. We heard from Alamogordo Fire Department Lieutenant William Skaggs. We're beginning to see an uptick in residential fires this winter season. Our investigation unit has determined that these fires are accidental in nature and being caused by heating devices such as space heaters or electric blankets. Please follow manufacturer-recommended guidelines whenever utilizing any secondary heating devices within your home. As important as it is to stay warm, it's equally important to stay safe. The City of Alamogordo facility maintenance crew will be installing traffic camera and cabinet upgrades beginning on Monday. We spoke with Sarah Crawford, the facility maintenance dispatcher and clerk. At those intersections, usually on one of the corners, there's some kind of like large cabinet of sorts, and that's Inside the cabinet is where all the controls are in the computer for, you know, determining the, the programming for the traffic lights. And so that's what we're actually going to be changing out. The upgrades will be completed one intersection at a time in the following order. Indian Wells and in Florida, 10th and College, 10th and Washington, 10th and Cuba, 10th and Florida, 1st and Cuba, and 1st and Maryland. Crawford says the work is expected to be completed by Thursday or Friday. We are now in the season for giving, and Toys for Tots is out looking for new unwrapped toys to give to those less fortunate. I spoke with Gina Lawrence, who told me where the drop boxes can be found. Mad Coffee, Lowe's Grocery Store, TDS, Direct Mail, Big Lot, Ponham Veterinary Care, French Brothers, Planet Fitness, Home to Suites by Hilton, the Alamogordo Public Library, Tularosa Basin, Dispatch, Walgreens, Ashley Furniture in the Mall, Pizza 9. Mountain View Dental, First Savings Bank, Your Community Connection Thrift Store, Change Hair Salon in the Mall, and High Rolls General Store also has a box. And if you need to speak with Gina, they can find me at toysforthoughts.org. They can also call me at 505-360-9330. I may not answer right away. I do, I do have to work, but um, I will get back to everybody as soon as I can. Application deadlines have passed, so now we just need to simply collect enough toys for the kids who have applied. The Alamo Senior Center is offering bread and cranberry relish. If you want some of this, it is a prepaid order only. For cranberry relish, it'll be a one-quart bag for $8. For rolls, they will be 6 for $5 or 12 for ten dollars you can place your order now through december 20th at the alamo senior center reception desk and pick them up on the 22nd if you have any questions 575-439-4150 i spoke with mike bochamp of the salvation army yesterday about the need for volunteers the bell does all the talking we are not making a, a any kind of a verbal pitch to to anybody the uh, we we're just uh, ringing that bell smiling I mean, we're we're probably saying uh, have a great day, or you know, hope you hope you're having a good day, pleasantries. But we're not making a verbal pitch. If you want to help, they would contact me uh, here at the Salvation Army, and I can email them out the schedule. They uh, they pick a time and a time slot and a location, and if it's still open when they get back to me then um, then we can uh, get them ringing. Consider giving two hours of your time to be a bell ringer and help the Salvation Army raise the needed $50,000.
Well, today is Friday. That means it's time for a cat chat from Kitty City NM. Meow Christmas. Hi, this is Kathy Denton with Kitty City NM, and welcome to this week's edition of Cat Chat. Once in a while, a super sweet kitty comes our way. Special K came to Kitty City from Alamogordo Animal Control. She is one lovely cat in appearance and temperament. Special K was named by one of our longtime and trustworthy volunteers, Mike. Mike fostered Special K at his house until she could be moved to Kitty City. During the few months Special K was with Mike, she received lots of undivided attention and excellent care. Mike also fostered several other cats, and the boys could be very rambunctious. Special K preferred a gentler approach to life. Special K is now residing at Kitty City NM in a cat room full of other kitties like herself. Special K has made friends with her other calm kitties who are all as gentle as she is. Special K is about two and a half years old. She is a unique combination of tabby and tortoiseshell. She has light gray and tan coloring with tabby markings on her face, all her legs, and a big white diamond shape on her chest. She has short, super soft fur. Kitty City is very friendly with humans and warms up to them instantly. She also gets along well with other cats. When visitors and staff walk by her room, Special K is usually lying in the window, inviting everyone to come in for a visit. Special K loves visitors. She especially enjoys to be picked up and get cuddles while in someone's arms. She is quite the darling. Special K is a special lady. She answers to her name and comes to run it. Mike named her Special K for Special Kitty, which she certainly is. You can come visit Special K at Kitty City NM at 56 Stanley Ranch Road or visit our website at www.kittycitynm.com to see all of our cats and kittens ready for their forever home. meow Christmas! Come to the White Sands Mall tomorrow, December 16, for the last Kitty City NM adoption event for this year. We will be at the White Sands Mall from 10 to 4 tomorrow, December 16th, with cute cats and kittens that need their forever family. Christmas special still continues. Purchase one cat at full price and get the second cat or kitten for half price. We will also feature for adoption dogs from Alamogordo Animal Control. Come say meow Christmas to all our cats and dogs at the White Sands Mall tomorrow, December 16th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This has been this week's edition of Cat Chat. I'm Kathy Denton wishing you a meow Christmas. We will talk with you next week from Kitty City NM. Kitty City and you, no one loves them better. News from around the state in just a moment. You're listening to Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. AlamogordoTownNews.com is a locally owned website featuring local news matters from a local perspective that affects you, and we bring it to you directly. Plus, local sports, cultural arts, and events. Online, AlamogordoTownNews.com. Owned and operated by Second Life Media. We are Otero County. Directory Plus is the right size book. It's the book if you need a phone book. That's what just one person has to say about Directory Plus. With its red cover, features, colorful yellow pages, and lots more, it's no wonder people all over use Directory Plus. It has so much more information. You can cross-check phone numbers or addresses or pretty much anything. Look on the plus side, Directory Plus. I'm a big fan of Directory Plus. Otero County, it's time for our annual first responder Christmas Eve dinner. This dinner is one small way we show our appreciation to those heroes that have our backs every day. To thank them, every year we hold a potluck-style dinner on Christmas Eve for the on-duty first responders at the Desert Hills Church of Christ, but we need you to cook a dish or to help with serving. Please go to the Otero County Fire EMS Appreciation Facebook page for more details. Let's make sure our heroes know how much we love them. God bless and have a Merry Christmas. The Farmington Police Department is investigating after a woman was found dead at a home. Police received a call on December 13th around 1020 a.m. about an individual who was found dead at a home. The 34-year-old woman was identified as a Farmington resident, but a name was not released to the press. If you have any information about this, please contact the Farmington Police. The Lovington Police Department is asking for the public to help identify a driver who hit a pedestrian on Monday night. That incident occurred around 6.10 p.m. in Lovington. The vehicle involved was described as a dark-colored SUV that should have some damage to the front end and or front passenger side. If you know anything about this, contact the Lovington Police. Juan Marine of San Juan County is facing charges for threatening a judge. Marine appeared in Bloomfield Municipal Court for an arraignment this week. The judge described Marine as aggressive and abusive. He told her, quote, I'll see you at your next yard sale. I know where you live, close quote. 
The warrant stated a sergeant at the jail corroborated the judge's claim. Health officials have confirmed that two people in New Mexico are connected to the ongoing nationwide salmonella outbreak in cantaloupes. The New Mexico Department of Health confirmed that both patients, one in Bernalillo County, the other in Donna Anna County, have recovered. Officials are advising people to adhere to a recall the Food and Drug Administration recently issued. The FDA is recalling whole cantaloupes with the brands Rudy and Malachita and the number 4050. These cantaloupes are reportedly linked to an outbreak in 38 states affecting 230 people. 96 people have required hospitalization. Three have passed away. The NMSU Library in Las Cruces now permanently houses award-winning photographs featuring White Sands National Park. The photographic exhibition is called Into the Great White Sands, and it's by Craig Virgibedian. I spoke with NMSU Communications Specialist Tatiana Favela. The Special Archives and Collections Department actually has the entire collection, which not all of the photos are displayed right now because there's so many. There's in total 50 of them. So they were able to frame a few of them. I believe what they have right now is eight of the photographs, and they're the kind of like shorter to medium-sized ones. And then there's also extra like artifacts or just kind of, you know, old postcards and stuff like that that are displayed. Virgibedians Into the Great White Sands photographs are on display on the fourth floor of the Branson Library at the NMSU campus in Las Cruces. Sports and weather are next. This is Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. They are role models and educators. Their work requires a great deal of time and energy for very little pay. Who are these unsung heroes? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. The simple truth about education-based athletics in New Mexico is this. Without a committed team of coaches and administrators, it just wouldn't be possible. School sports, they bring out the best in all of us. This message presented by the New Mexico Activities Association and the New Mexico Athletic Directors Association. Tularosa High School recognizes the all-district volleyball players. We heard from Coach Carly Cozzi. Erilyn Stevens. Megan Hooten and Danae Evans, and then we had a co-player of the year, Macy Griffin. We also heard from football coach Mike Filicetti, who told me about the All-State players. Ty Mathis was first team All-State at wide receiver, and uh, well, he led all receivers in, in 2A, and, and he was like, I want to say the number five receiver in all classifications and in, in receiving. Then we had uh, Anthony Paz and Dylan Salazar, first team secondary and then we had Xavier Chavez, who ended up being first team defensive line. And then uh, Mikhail LaSalle ended up being a uh, first team inside linebacker as well uh, for Florosa. And then uh, second team, Dylan got uh, second team All State as quarterback. Anthony Paz, second team receiver. Braden Tortolita, second team wide receiver. And Adrius Galaz got second team uh, offensive line. That's where we ended up with that. Congratulations to these athletes for all of their hard work. Wow! Go Wildcats! There are 50 games for New Mexico girls basketball today, including Dora at Redoso, Chaparral at Albuquerque, Alamogordo heads to Da Vinci. <laughs> Go Lady Tigers! There are 59 games for New Mexico varsity basketball today, including Chaparral at Albuquerque. Your Crazy Radio spot on weather forecast for the Tularosa Basin today calls for sunny skies, mostly clear tonight, sunny tomorrow. Your high today for the Basin, 60, low tonight of 31, high tomorrow, 58 degrees. In Cloudcroft, sunny skies today, mostly clear tonight, sunny tomorrow. Your high today for Cloudcroft, 44, wind chill's going to make it feel like it's 10 degrees. Low tonight of 20, high tomorrow, 43, wind chill's going to make it feel like it's 26 degrees. With snowfall in the mountains and across the northern part of the state, be sure to check road conditions before you travel by dialing 511 or checking nmroads.com. Local breaking news can be found on our website, alamogordotownnews.com. And you can learn more about Crazy Radio by visiting kalhradio.org. Also, be sure to check out the Crazy KLH Radio YouTube channel. That's where we post our daily newscasts, complete interviews, and other information which concerns everyone in the Tularosa Basin. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. That way you too can remain informed of the goings-on in the Tularosa Basin. That concludes today's edition of Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero, and may the good news be yours. I can't believe I just said that.